hi guys in this video I'm going to cover few more uh, SQL questions uh, which they are asking in the Informatica interview so the first question is uh, display the employee ID and employee name senior manager and senior manager name in the employee table so uh, the table is like this <coughs> sorry uh, so my employee table will be like this uh, if you see what are the columns we have employee ID employee name and manager ID so employee ID for employee ID 101 the employee name will be Surya and the manager for him is manager ID is 10 so 10 is nothing but here you can see who is having the employee ID has 10 Srinu. So Srinu is the manager for uh, Surya and for him again another manager will be there the uh, I mean for uh, Srinu the manager will be um, Balaya you see here manager ID for Srinu is 1 and the employee ID 1 his name is Balaya so for Surya Balaya is the senior manager 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 is the senior manager so uh, now we need to display in our select query employee ID employee name and his senior manager uh, his senior manager ID and uh, senior manager name so this is the result we need to get for this we need to write the select query like this here you can see so what we what I have done first I am displaying employee ID employee name ok t1 dot employee ID and t1 dot employee name and now manager ID we don't need this manager ID now we need senior manager ID and senior manager name so how we will get so if you take th this is the example for first record I am uh, telling so manager ID is 10 now uh, this I'm going to join self join uh, this manager ID I'm going to join with employee ID okay so if 10 is there in this employee ID then I need to get uh, manager ID okay so this is the senior manager ID so I'm going to um, um, display t2 dot manager ID okay so you can see here first join I'm going to keep t1 dot manager ID equals to t2 dot employee ID here t1 and t2 is just I'm giving the aliases for uh, employee table so this is called self join so I'm uh, for the same table I'm just giving t1 and t2 aliases and um, I'm giving uh, I'm, I'm keeping the join on our same table but t1 dot manager ID I mean the first record okay uh, this manager ID I'm going to uh, uh, join with employee ID okay if it's found then it will return uh, manager ID I'm just displaying this senior manager ID t2 dot manager ID and then again I need a um, senior manager name also okay I got senior manager ID now again I'm going to join t2 dot manager ID with t3 dot employee ID again another join you can see here I'm I'm taking another another alias t3 so just I'm going to join again t2 dot manager ID equals to t3 dot employee ID if if it is uh, there then <coughs> this condition is satisfied if the 10 equal sorry 1 equals to 1 then I'm just displaying t3 dot employee name here you can see in select query I'm just writing in select t3 dot employee name okay yeah this is the query you need to um, follow 
okay to display the uh, senior manager names I'm just um, running this one so the output will be like like this you can see employee ID employee name and the first figure you can see 102 sorry 101 uh, Surya for him who is the manager senior manager ID will be 1 and the balaya correct right so the output will be correct like this for all the records which are having senior managers of uh, for the all the employees who is having the senior managers those records is going to display if they don't have any senior manager then they are not it, it's not going to display here for Balaya, Balaya is the senior manager and for him there is no senior manager because he is the only the senior manager so um, uh, that's why it's not uh, repeating here I mean it, it is not giving the output of Balaya here okay just a uh, Balaya record uh, because he, he don't have any senior manager the next question is um, I have a sales table like this so I have employee ID, commission date and amount these are the fields in this table and now what we have to display display top two commission getting employees in a particular month and in a particular calendar year okay so um, we need to display top two commission getting employees in month and year wise okay so this is the data right so first uh, what I will do means I will write one select query um, uh, to getting this employee ID and in this commission date just only the month and year because we don't require the date because they are only asking uh, based on the uh, month and year okay and amount so this is the select query I have written um, so I am giving for the select query uh, alias is A so I'll just uh, sorry um, I'll just select this query and I will show you what is the output so uh, see this employee ID and month and year uh, because I'm just taking uh, here the logic is like in 2 care I am just passing the commission date column and in that I am just only selecting month and year so uh, I am giving that uh, result name uh, column name as month and year so same thing it is displaying in this output month and year and same amount also uh, I am taking from sales so only in this query the change is this part uh, I am just uh, uh, say uh, taking only month and year from the commission date uh, I'm eliminating the date and uh, now uh, on this on this uh, query I'm keeping another one more query to get the count like uh, I'm selecting all the uh, fields in this um, below query and uh, I'm keeping one more uh, count column here so uh, count is nothing but I'm taking row num function and in that uh, over partition by I'm giving month and year because uh, we required uh, month and year wise uh, employee names who are getting um, top two commissions okay uh, so here amount I'm taking commission amount because we need top two amounts right so I'm just uh, keeping in DESC so it will display in uh, highest amount in first uh, for that particular month and year uh, likewise it, it is uh, in descending order it will um, it will show the results for amount so I will execute this one also so that you can understand what these two inner queries will give so you can see employee ID 
month and year and the amount and the count count is nothing but row num instead of row number you can use the rank also um, and here you can see how it is giving uh, it is giving monthly wise so uh, first uh, amount is uh, uh, displaying in the descending order um, so 2000 for this August and uh, 2020 um, in for this uh, these are the till here um, 3000 so till here uh, this is the result um, uh, I mean amounts of August uh, uh, 2020 year and for these um, you can see amounts we are getting in the descending order and uh, the counts it is giving 1 2 3 4 5 6 and for June 2020 these two only two records we have so these two employees um, see again the salary is in descending order uh, three highest will be first so and again the count they are uh, we are getting again from starting one two okay and again for this is because of we given the partition by here in month and he month and year so because of that again it is giving the count for every month and every year okay so again one two it is giving so like this it will display but we need only top two commission getting employee names so here I am just giving the filter b dot count less than or equals to 2 so only less than or equals to 2 I mean um, 1 2 top 2 records we used to get if you so you can see here for August 2020 top 2 and 2020 and uh, June 2020 top 2 and September 2020 top 2 so like this um, we have to write the query thanks for watching this video if you have any comments please mention in the comment box